Hello everybody, today I'm going to have a fan comparison for you. It's a comparison I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do this fan comparison for a very long time now. But I also got requested it by a channel called Matteo Bolera, I think it's pronounced. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, it is a comparison of the 2011 Binaire 16 inch oscillating pedestal fan and grey with three speeds oscillation timer and it has a remote control with a mode. I don't see the use of a, of a mode. I don't really use the most. I don't see what the point is. And it, yeah, it's that one versus the two, the 2004 Binaire 2 Cool 16 inch oscillating. I think, I think it's a very dark grey. It's not like a black. Cause I looked at my Air Rock Deco because that's a black 12 inch one. And that colour does not match to the um, Binaire 2 Cool. So I think the um, Binaire 2 Cool might be like a very dark grey. I'm not really sure. I know the other Binaire got a grey. But I think the 2 Cool might be just a very dark grey. So yeah, there is one thing I have noticed about these two fans. Look at the front blades on the normal Binaire. They are grey. And then the back ones are like dark way but if you look on the two cool one it has grey blades at the back and it has blue blades at the front but don't you guys think the back blades on these on this two cool one look like a similar colour to on this one's front blades they both got the grey style blades but at the front it's at the front on this one but on this one it has it at the back so if they were gonna design this one to be the opposite of this one I think they should have made it so that this one has the blue blades at the back there and then it really would be the opposite. Either that or make that one have this one's back blades at the front in colour. Yeah, they're both good fattens. So here we have the logos. That's the 2011 one. Binaire. And I'll zoom out. And there's the 2004 one, Binaire 2 Cool. Personally, I prefer the Binaire 2 Cool logo. I just think it stands out more. I mean, the other Binaire's got a good logo, but I just think it stands out more on the 2 Cool one. I like how it's got the logo in like a black circle in the middle, and then it's got like a whitish oval going around it. I think that's pretty unique because it looks nice. Yeah, the other one's good, but I think it's a little bit more boring. I prefer the look of the two calls one. Also, if you can tell, another difference is this one has a long pole. That one does not. It's a bit different. Well, it's saying it's a bit different. It's actually quite a bit different. Another thing different about them, different bases. You can tell. Oh, that's a swallow on it, but that one does not. Um... And I think it's the same about them, they're both 6 inches, 16 inches, not 6 inches, they're 16 inches, they both have 3 speeds, both oscillate, they're both made by Binaire, but um, I think it's different about them, they're different colours, they have normal Binaire, it's grey, but the Binaire 2 colour, so it's like a very dark grey, but I think the um, bit in the middle is black, but obviously it's got the oval around it, which I think is nice. I've always liked that. And they've got different back designs. And yeah. Another thing that's different about them. The um, newer one, which is the 2011 one, it has the newer tilt to adjust it. But the Binaire 2 Cool one has the older tilt to adjust it. So yeah. Now I'm going to show you around the fans. So here's the front of them. And I'll just adjust the camera. Yeah, you're going to see me on the camera in a minute. So here we go. I'm just going to adjust them, so I think you can see around them. Hopefully you can see that, I'll just come to the camera so I can check to see. So yeah, here's the side, quite different. As you can tell, on the sides they are quite different. Um, yeah, let me show the back now. I literally have to pick up the two cool one 
to turn it to the back. This one's easy, oh, you just all you have to do is turn that one around, but with the two cool, you have to literally pick it up to do it. So here we have the back of the fans then. There's the motor housing on my bar now. I might just bring the camera over off so you can see it more easier. Yeah. There's the motor housing. I'll just it down. Yeah, that's the 2011s back design and motor housing. I may as well show the information one here. Oh yeah, look at the oscillators. That one has like a rectangle. That one has like a cuboid like shaped oscillator because it's like the M3D shaped ones. There's the vents. It has more vents on the side. Hang on, let me show you. Yeah, just there, as you can tell, on the side here, it has more vents. And other than that, it has more on the other side as well, as you can tell. Another thing that's very different about them both is, look, look how big the handle is on this 2011 one. And on this one, it's quite small compared to that one. And that one has a bigger motor housing, but this one's quite small, guys. But yeah, anyway. Here's the vents on the two core one. That's the only vents it has. It doesn't have any underneath or around the side or anything, but yeah. Quite different vents, as you can tell. Let me just show the vents on this thing. Yeah, they look quite different, don't they, guys? Plus, this one has a circle oscillator with the um, switch control. I haven't really showed you that yet. That's what the switch control looks like on the two core one. Now I'll show you the information stickers on them. Um, I might adjust the camera down just to make it easier for me to show you on camera. This one's more BASF 1016 GRC. It's got the binary logo, it's 220 slash 240 volts, 50 hazards, it's 60 watts made in China. Now this one's on the side, so I'm just gonna turn it around a second. It was underneath here, like on the homes one, the swirl base, but I moved it to the side because I think it's just better having it on the side, like on the um, Blau Punk. I have at my nan's house, for example. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you've seen this. There's the, lo there's the um, information sticker. Well, BASF1016, 220 slash 240 volts, 50 hazards, made in China with a binary logo. That's what I mean by it's got like 90 watts and it's got like a slash and a 100 watts right there. See? So it's 90 slash 100 watts then. So yeah, there's one thing I will show you. Let me just turn it both to the front now. Before I start them off, I'm gonna show you the, um, this one's control panel. There's the control panel on this one, it's down there as you can tell. Now I'm going to turn the fans around. Move this one over a bit more because I don't want you to really hit each other when it comes to oscillates. That was, that was not so good. Okay, let's move the camera back then. This might be quite a long video, guys. Yeah, expect this to be a long video. I'm just... Just that camera. Yeah, expect this to be quite a long video because it's been my dream comparison. By now, it's still not... So good. Is that so good now? Uh, yeah, so... Now I'm just going to adjust this one down, and while I'm at it, I'm also going to start the fans on low. This might be kind of hard for you to see, guys, but there's low on that one. I don't know if you saw me doing that or whether I got it low. I don't know if you saw that or whether I got in the way of me turning the fans on low without oscillation. That bias moved again. Um, 
The bar now to call is stronger, as in it blows more at her. Noise levels wound about the same, they're both very loud, but the two cool ones definitely stronger. I mean, the other bar now one's strong, it's very strong, but I think the two cool ones definitely a bit stronger. It's to be expected though, it's got more watts. Yeah, just the fact that it's got more watts, the two core one, it is, to be, it is expected to be stronger as it's got more watts. Also, the two core ones are a bit taller. Alright, now I'm going to put them on medium without oscillation. Now the two call is way louder. Which one knows more like that? The binary two call is stronger. They are both very powerful fangs, guys. I think they are both very good. Man, they're both noisy when they're together, but anyway, here's high without oscillation. Bloody hell, there's loads of air coming from them both together. Again, the binary two call is stronger, guys. I think the binary two call is louder, though, but it's definitely stronger. I can feel more air coming from it. The other one is definitely still very strong fun though, the normal by there. It's definitely a very strong fun, but two cool is more stronger. Okay, so here is low with oscillation, hopefully they don't hit each other. Of course, the um, normal barn there has a much bigger oscillation because the um, motor housing design is bigger, so it'll probably have a bigger oscillation gearbox or something. So that's one thing better about the normal barn there. It's got a bigger oscillation. But the airflow of the two cool one is definitely a lot better than the normal barn there. So to be honest with you guys, they are both very good fans. I like them both a lot, but if I if you were to ask me which one my favourite is, I'll have to say the Binary 2 Call is my favourite. At the same time, they are both good fans. Yeah, the normal Binary has a way bigger oscillation. It oscillates way further, as you can tell. Kind of reminds me of a Holmes one though, the two cool one does, because it has the same back design and it also has a small oscillation like the Holmes one does. That was sold in the USA with the swirl base. I believe you could also get a cross one, a cross version of it. Yeah, I love both of these fans, they're both good. Alright, so here's medium with oscillation.
there's medium with oxidation then. I can feel a lot of air coming from both of them, but the two cool is definitely much stronger. I don't know why, but I feel like the two cool oscillates further one side than it does the other. I might check to see if it's centered or not. I don't think it's centered. Dad, now it should oscillate both the same because it wasn't quite so as anyway here's heart eye with oscillation then Oh no, it's oscillating more the other way now. Oh, maybe it was centered. Okay, so here is the off and spin down when I centered them. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit on my bed a second so you can see the off and spin down. Hopefully. Over here quick, yeah. Change my mind, I'll come over here quickly. Oh, which one's yeah? The older, not the older one, the newer one from 2011 one has a better spin down time. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for this comparison video. It's quite a long one, but hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. I'm bye for now.